Nosy the Elephant by Jean Chaffee. A long time ago, Nosy lived in a small village in Thailand. She lived with her mother, her sisters, her aunties, and cousins. Her mother worked hard carrying big logs from the rainforest. Nosy walked beside her mother as she worked. The Mahat, Mahat taught her to follow directions. I want to grow up to be just like my mother, said Nosy. She was very happy. Here's Nosy here with her mommy. One day, several men took Nosy and her friends away. The young elephants were put on a ship to go to America. It was going to be a long journey. Nosy was sad because she missed her mother. When they were far out to sea, a big storm appeared. The wind blew and it got very dark. Nosy cried because it was so scary. The ship tossed and turned and Nosy got seasick. After many hours, the storm went away and Nosy was safe again. Finally, the ship arrived in America. The elephants went to a farm to wait for their new home. Nosy waited and waited. Her friends went to different zoos and she was very lonesome. I wonder where I'm going to go, worried Nosy. The children in Fresno heard about the lonely elephant. They saved their allowance to give to the zoo and they sold lemonade. They made elephant cookies to sell to their neighbors. They had to raise $3,500 to buy the elephant. The children took their jars full of dimes, nickels, and quarters to the zookeeper. He said, now there is enough money to buy the elephant. The zoo held a name the elephant contest and the children sent in their names. The zookeeper chose the name Nosy. On a beautiful September day, Nosy got into a truck for a drive to go to her new home. She arrived just as the parade was ready to start. Hundreds of people stood on the sidewalks to see Nosy. They were very excited. Can you see her in there? The truck stopped in front of the water tower. The zookeepers backed Nosy out of the truck and she turned to face the people and they began to cheer and call her name. Nosy, Nosy, Nosy. But all the noise made Nosy very nervous. Her zookeeper rubbed her trunk and gave her some apples and they whispered nice things into her ears and finally she calmed down and got ready for the parade. People threw peanuts and flowers as they welcomed Nosy. Nosy led the grand parade down the main street. She held her head high as she greeted her new friends. And friends, this is our town, Fresno. A big horse walked by in the parade. She had never seen a horse before. She twirled around and she lifted her trunk high in the air. She let out a big scream as the mothers rushed their children out of the way. The zookeeper grabbed hold of Nosy to keep her from running away. At the end of the parade, it was time to take Nosy to the zoo. The zookeeper led her to the truck, but she refused to get in. She stomped her foot and she shook her head. No, no more boats, no more trucks, said Nosy. The zookeeper pushed and pulled and he tempted her with carrots, but Nosy still said no. Nosy was so big that the zookeepers couldn't even move her. Soon the zookeeper shrugged his shoulders and said, okay, let's just walk to the zoo. Nosy and her zookeeper started walking. They turned around and they saw the people walking behind them. The people laughed and danced as they walked to the zoo. Nosy was very happy. A pile of carrots, a bucket of peanuts, and a fresh water greeted Nosy in her new home. She was thrilled, tired and thirsty after a long walk. She filled her trunk with water and then she looked at the people and said to herself, I am going to play a joke on everyone. 
Nosy used her trunk and sprayed water on all the people, and they laughed because Nosy had a surprise for had surprised them. This was Nosy's new home, and she liked her new friends. I am very, very happy because I have a lot of friends now. The end.